the general chain rule. The multivariable chain rule, general case. Suppose that f is a function of x1 all the way to xn is a function of n variables and x1 all the way to xn are functions of m independent variables t1 all the way to tn. And then the partial of f with respect to tj is equal to partial of f with respect to x1 times partial of x1 with respect to tj plus partial of f with respect to x2 times partial of x2 with respect to tj plus all the way partial of f with respect to xn times partial of xn with respect to tj for each j equal to 1 all the way to m. The equations for all j can be expressed simultaneously in a matrix form. So how is that working? Um, so each one of these is going to be uh, on the left side. There will be a term uh, in, in, I'm sorry, not an entry in this uh, vector matrix. And then each entry in this vector matrix is equal to this vector matrix times a column in the other matrix. So basically, a partial of f with respect to t1 is going to be this vector times the first column, partial of f with respect to t2 is going to be this vector times the uh, this vector matrix times the second column, and all the way as it goes. And so uh, how are the um, columns and rows uh, basically uh, organized? It's the uh, the vector column is all the partials with respect to uh, the intermediate variables x1 to xn and then all the uh, columns of the um, of the matrix the uh, m n by m matrix is going to be uh, basically uh, inter the derivatives of uh, all the intermediate variables with respect to one of the uh, independent variables, basically. The tree technique uh, works even for composition of three or uh, more functions. For example, suppose that x is a um, function of t, y is a function of t, v is a function of x and y, and w is a function of x and y, q, y, uh, uh, function of v in w, then uh, q um, as a function of v in w, so q goes on top, uh, goes to v in w, v in w each go to x and y, and then x and y each go to t. So all these um, uh, branches, all these branches are going to give you um, um, a term in the uh, derivative of q with respect to t because all of them start with 2, q, and end up with t. And so that's how you find the formula basically. And in this time, because there were composition of three functions, uh, you will have three, uh, three of them multiplied together. Two are partials. And the last one every time is a derivative y because the x is only a function of it's a single variable function and y is a single variable function and um, and that's why the last uh, factor in each term is is just the derivative not partial. I clear your question fourteen point six c. Suppose that uh, we are given functions. Uh, Q as function of u and v, u function of x, y, z, v function of x, y, z, and x and y, z all function of t. In the expression derivative of Q respect to t, how many terms are in the sum? So think about the tree and um, find all the uh, how many ways it goes down. So um, basically So you start from Q and then you go to U and V and then you go from X, Y, Z, X, Y, Z and then from there to T. 
T is not um, adding a whole lot to the uh, derivative here. But so what are the, um, how many terms are in the sum of uh, dq dt? Let's see, this is one, two, three, one, two, and three. So there are six terms. I, I compare 40.6 d, the temperature at the point x and y is h of x and y measured in degrees Celsius. Uh, a bar cross so that the position after t seconds is x equal to square root of 1 plus t and y equal to 2 plus t over 3 where x and y are measured in centimeters. Um, it is supposed that h sub x of 2 and 3 is equal to 4, x sub y of 2 and 3 is equal to 3. What is the partial of h respect to t at and the box position after three seconds. So take a break and solve this and come back. Okay, three seconds. Um, and so we're basically looking for X, what is X and Y at three seconds. If I plug in, I get square root of four, which is two for X. And then for y, I get 2 plus 3 over 3, which is 3. So x and y are going to be 2, uh, two and 3. Um, and then let's start at t3 and x and y equal to 2 and 3. So let's start with the temperature. Temperature is function of x and y, then function of t. And then this one, um, T sub x uh, uh, or h sub x is going to be h sub x of 2 and 3 is equal to 4, h sub y of 2 and 3 equal to 3, x sub t, oh I'm sorry, derivative of x respect to t is equal to 1 over 2 square root of 1 plus t. And y respect to t is derivative of 2 is 0, derivative of t is 1, 1 third. And so you go down, you have 4, plug in the 3 in here, and you get 4 times 1 over 2, square root of 4, and plus 3 times 1 over 3, and this is going to be 2. And so what is the... Um, uh, unit, you start up there, temperature, uh, respect the, uh, and the bottom is time. So it's uh, degrees Celsius with respect to time, which is seconds. 